HJK Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. If somebody sees this, if this test case fails, developer has to repeat the steps which are mentioned here. So, so that you have to mention it very clearly. So, so you have to tell uh, the developer like whatever you're writing here should help. So, to uh, navigate to so like this, you will write your uh, steps very clearly navigate to students uh, add student page and then you need to write here enter students name and then fourth step alt enter fourth one enter students address alt enter fifth step click on save okay so these are the steps which you mentioned so that these steps will help the developer like okay this is what he followed and test data test data you need to mention what is the student's name you're entering student name i entered for example Meghna. and give some spaces here and then for address just put address just you need to tell the uh, developer what address you have used okay so and then and then once you are done with this here you need to write expected result so so you need to write here what is expected result and and what is actual result so when you click on save uh, when you when you enter this name and uh, and for example i will enter some data which is very lengthy characters so i will i will enter like this so because because your your acceptance criteria tells that the name should be less than 30 characters so what is expected result uh, expected result should be something like invalid name and one message should be displayed as alert message should come should be displayed as uh, name should be less than 30 characters okay and actual result uh, you're not seeing anything so you are telling like uh, some error page 500 error page and what do you do here you will put it as failed so this is how you normally write your test cases for covering all the one by one scenario so so um, and we will see how we we are going to write the uh, test cases for how we are going to write the test cases for database testing here so even even for database testing uh, while clicking on save you don't have anything uh, if you want to display any alert message so this is completely driven in the ui in the user interface see this when the user enters a, a string like this when the user enters a string like this so you are validating this in the user user interface code so you're not validating in the database okay so in that case um, your uh, database test case will not impact here will not come here will not play much role here okay but when you are entering valid data and if you want to verify in the data uh, database for example you don't have this screen the second screen you don't have or not at built so in that case you should uh, you, we will know how to do database testing okay so anyway for today uh, all you should know is so you should be clear on uh, what is uh, what is the use of version version number and how to write this columns whatever we, we are seeing now test case id test case name precondition uh, test case description test steps test data expected result actual result and pass or fail so so and one more thing 
I got a question like do you write for valid or invalid here so this one is for invalid scenario so whatever you see here is this name is invalid because it should be less than 30 characters so this is called invalid scenario so we also test for three scenarios one is valid scenario other one is invalid scenario and other one is exception scenario so which I'll be covering now I just I mean lost power in my home um, okay that's that should be fine you might hear some beep sounds for some time so anyway so is it clear whatever we discussed so far or uh, previously it was good now now this is not good and how about others Question. Yeah. Yeah. For the version number, so yeah. in one application there is many documents, right? So yeah. Each of documents have different number, or it should be. Different? It 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 will be different actually because some some documents might be more dynamic, so you might be changing every day. So the version number will be changing uh, will be changing fast. But some documents, like say, take for example. Uh, you, you you come up with your uh, uh, code review checklist okay so code review checklist is something like which will not be modified frequently it will be modified only once in a year or once in six months but take for example your test cases so every time you will be writing test cases here so every day so so every time when you send for review you have to change the version number when when you are changing the comments so this uh, co uh, uh, test case document will change more frequently when compared to your code review checklist. Okay. Okay. So that, we to change the test cases uh, many times in a single project or in for the single module. No, not see as long as the document is with you, as long as the document you have not sent to anyone, you don't need to change the version. But when you are making it public. So then you need to update the version you send it. For example, let me tell like this. So I just started writing test cases. Let's assume that I just write, started writing test case in this Excel. First what I'll put is I'll put 0.0, 0 .0 and writing test cases. So when I add third one, fourth one, fifth one, I don't need to change the version number to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 like this. So once I'm done with this, I'll make it public with the version number 0, 0.0. Now, if someone sees this and tells me that hey can, come on can you add one more column and add some details or someone reviews it and tells like uh, instead of precondition add some scenario section or or whatever any review comments in that case what I need to do is I need to make those changes and then change the version to 0 0.2 or, or or depending if it's a major change I'll, I'll make it as 1.0 and I will send to everyone saying like uh, please find that as the updated document in brackets, I'll tell version 1.0. Okay. Yes, yes, I got it. Okay. So, um, I'm I, I'm actually coming up with a PPT uh, uh, to cover properly. So we'll do one thing. Uh, in the next class, I'll discuss uh, with the PPT with all the details. So for now, um, uh, for those who missed it, I think we have uh, 15 minutes or 20 minutes. So for those who missed the previous exam, uh, please take this link and uh, and then you can proceed proceed on this. And for in the next class, we'll discuss on we'll discuss more on writing test cases and how do we test how do we do uh, database testing. We'll continue. Okay. So. Um, I'm just pinging the link again for those who missed it can take the exam uh, try to complete it uh, within one hour okay okay so for today we'll stop here uh, um, and then we will uh, we'll continue again on day after tomorrow Okay, I got a question saying like before testing, what are all the data data setup needs to be done? So, 
before testing what are all the data data setup needs to be done yes it is it is same like i mean you will know what are what uh, test cases you need to give right so so that should be fine so we need to do some uh, we need to have some mock data yes okay okay so anyway so in the next class uh, we'll try to have uh, we'll try to discuss more on this so i'm stopping here um, we'll continue at uh, we'll continue next class okay we are stopping a bit early um, but next class we'll have it we'll continue it for uh, one and a half hour any questions here